Alright guys, welcome to set 2 of Let's Play Dragon Age 2, my rogue playthrough. Um, while I was off screen, I did do quite a few things. Uh, most specifically, I did change uh, Nexus's face, so she looks a lot better. So, there's that. Uh, second thing I did was basically just use the glitch to get some money. Um, I'm going to try my best not to use that glitch all that often. I think what I'm going to do is at the beginning of each act, I will... Um, give myself a certain amount of money and that's it <clears throat> and everything else I have to get after that anywho that being said I'm gonna tell you how this let's play is going to work now that I have the time okay so basically each set is going to be divided into acts companion quests and secondary quests uh, the first sets of the act are going to be of the main storyline up to a certain point Usually it'll be about halfway through the story, halfway through the arc, depending on how long, halfway through the act, depending on how um, the set's going. I will try my best to get the entire act recorded though, uh, but this one specifically is going to be cut into two. So this set's going to be half the quest, the next set's going to be the other half. Um, afterwards, we're going to be going into the companion quest lines where we um, go to do the quests that our companions need us to do. Um, and if there's if there's any other secondary quests that I feel should be addressed, I'll record a third set addressing them. However, those secondary quests will probably be done while doing the other two. That being said, let's go. Hello, ma'am. My children have been in servitude, servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. You mean this is real? No wonder I can't wake up. And here I thought that Ferelden you ran off with was a mage, not a jester. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was read, it went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. That touched a nerve. What's in there that you don't want us to see? Nothing. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gamlin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be mother's, do you think he would tell us? Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about Father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. Unless we somehow turn Gamlin into an upstanding citizen, what's done is done. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. Good. Then we can break in, and I don't care if we kill them. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently, the sewers run right beneath the house. And we'll be doing that quest next week. Anywho, let us continue onwards! Alright, so... Let's see here. Okay. I'm checking out my uh, little character roster I have uh, written up. Let's go! Alright, before we continue onwards, we're actually going to be stopping by a few places to get a few things done. Uh, docks, 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 docks. Now, uh, low town. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Here we are. There it is. 
Okay, so, um, I'm going to be running around getting some resource materials real quickly. At the end of, um, each storyline act, um, I'm going to give you a list of things you need done before completing the, before doing the final act story quest. Um, so this way you got those who are playing along can collect the materials and they'll know exactly how much of what they need. <clears throat> this one is going to be a little more, a little more interesting, so I'll explain it, uh, when we get to that one. Um, you'll see what I mean when we get there. And off we go! Woo! Alright, first things first, we're going to be getting some companion armor for Aveline, who is currently not in our roster, but we'll be able to get her soon. Understand. Bye. It is. Keep in mind, we need 50 sovereigns to fund Bartran's ex uh, expedition. Alright, here's some spindleweed. Feel free to read that while I uh, mark it off. Here we are. Okay, that's said and done. <clears throat> let us go and... Let's check my quest roster real quickly so I can make sure what we have. Alright, so we have a new home done. Oh, sorry, sorry, that's all, that's all said and done. Okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> we're, on, we're up to speed. The fuck is you? Oh, well. Okay, let us go ahead and trigger this quest. No, let's do this first, because the way we can get this done instead of done and over with. Uh, up over here is uh, armor for Varric. Boop. Yeah, there we go. Let's talk to Lady Elegant. My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Still up to old tricks, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still in Athenral's employ. Things have been going well since then. Could be better. Could be worse. I often feel the same way. You may recall I sometimes provided potions for Athenral. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free. For old time's sake. Okay, so what she gave us was the Elf Root Potion. It's basically the health poultice from the first game. Just now it's a potion instead of a poultice. Um, this, the Elixir of Purity I have here, is a recipe I got a while ago inside the Black Emporium. So I need to mark that off. Um, I think I've explained how this type of stuff works. Basically, you collect materials, you tell the per the person finds out where they're at because of it, and uh, you just pay them for the service of making potions while they get the source material from the, you know, source. So basically, so long as you have the money, you have an unlimited supply of health potions. And what's nice is, when you unlock that, you unlock a brewing stand in your house. Same thing with uh, po poisons and bombs, um, as well as runes. Just talk to the person, and all of a sudden you have a, it unlocked in your house. Hello. So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartran can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Any entrance would do, wouldn't it? Well, unless a dragon's sitting in it, I suppose. We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. <laughs> Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A low-town woman named Lorene has been helping the Fereldans. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. 
Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. Now we have the Tranquility Quest line unlocked. Um, I may do that a little bit later. I'm going to be doing that later, but uh, I'm going to start it now. That way we can have it ready to go. Uh, this quest takes us uh, to Dark Town, so that's why I'm doing it now. Hooray! Why name a portion, a portion of your town Dark Town? Why name another portion of your Low Town? Makes me think that these portions are just, you know, uh, names that the people of Kirkwall call it, but not actually what they're referred to. But, uh, who knows? Woo! Off we go. I've missed this game. It's a lot of fun. Um, I've mentioned this a few times before, but this was actually my very first Dragon Age game. Um, I've heard about the franchise before, but never really got into it for some reason or another. Something to fall out. But, um, my friend, uh, Sody from the Minecraft Let's Play, told me I need to play the Dragon Age game. It's a lot of fun, and so on and such forth. So I decided, oh, okay, fine, I'll play it. So I plopped in this game, I was like, okay, it's kind of interesting, it's kind of interesting. And then I continued playing. Um, this chest right here, donate sovereigns, higher the better. I think you can go up to ten sovereigns. You get EXP for it. You should have something. She does, but it's not in the shop anymore. Uh, right here is a... Oh, shit, I'm low on money. Um, would have been a Frost Warding Rune. Right? Hello! I can't wait to see what our ancestral estate was like. Come on. If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. Is there a way I can assist these people? If you've coin to spare, we won't turn it down. Donations go in the box up front. Anything else? I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of is sitting on the throne. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Then I'll only ask very smart questions. I do not joke, Sirrah. You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. Tell me he's got killer eyes and a nice smile. I'll marry him on the spot. <laughs> As it happens, he's got the eyes. But I've never seen him smile. It's always seemed like he must have lost even more than the rest of us. I suppose you can seek him out. Anders certainly hasn't turned anyone else away. Look for the lit lantern in Darktown. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. I should have stayed home and took <laughs> This actually is a pretty interesting anecdote. Uh, one of the programmers told about uh, Anders. But I can't remember exactly, so I can't really tell you it. It's basically the uh, the fate of Sir Pounce a lot, quote unquote. Come on. You know, I really do love these load screens, they're really cool and all, but they take for fucking ever. Although, to be fair, some load screens of the games I grew up with were just obscene. Blood Omen? Oh god. Hey, we heard you in there, asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town, and it ain't gonna happen to him. Look, we're Ferelden's just trying to keep out of the Templar's sight, same as you. Ferelden? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our King Alistair. Oh, that was interesting. Alright. Hey, Varric leveled up. Okay, so pretty much everything we need here is done. 
Hurrah! Now, we are going to... Uh, nope. Yes. I don't want to go here. I, want, I do. Okay, so, in the, the last time I played this game, um, I did not have the, exi the Exiled Prince DLC installed. So, because of this, I was never able to do a recording of that quest line. Now I can! I have every single DLC of this game with the exception of Sir Isaac's armor and the Blood Dragon armor. I can't get Sir Isaac's armor because it was a limited time uh, deal, which kind of pisses me off, but yeah. Um, unless you have the PC version, there's a way you can still get it. Um, the Blood Dragon armor was the same for Dragon Age Origins. If you unlocked it in Origins, you could transfer it over to this game, but I can't get either of them anymore, so kind of sucks. But, since we have that out of the way, um, but because of this, I do have all the other DLCs. I have uh, Mark of the Assassin and the, the other one whose name I can't remember. Legacy, there we go. I have that one as well. As well as all the art, other stuff. Sebastian, stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. Gotta love that accent. Okay. This. Basically what happened is he is the Prince of Starkhaven, a part of the Free Marches. Um, some mercenaries killed his family, and he wants, uh, retribution. So, we're gonna give it to him. See them ah. But first, we need to go up here. Boop. Boop. Yeah. There we go. Wow. Pretty, pretty smithy, if, you have, if I do say so myself. Hmm. In the Viscount's Keep. Alright, while it's loading, I'm going to say something quickly. There's a trophy in this game called the Archaeologist's Trophy. To unlock it, you need to find three of the four uh, Enigmas of Kirkwall in each chapter. There are four in each chapter, you need three for each to get the trophy. It's still recommended to get all four regardless. Now, there is one that is glitched, annoyingly. Um, I'm going to show you how to get it, so we can uh, continue onwards. Go up here, go to the left. Open this door, open this door, and stop. Okay, now, go into this mode, which is L2. I believe it's uh, left bumper on the 360 version. Not sure if this game's on that console, but eh. Um, this will give you a targeting reticle as well as this. This is your hotkey. Um, as you can see, we have the Enigma of Kirkwall highlighted right there on the painting. If you try to get it by going inside and examining it, it will glitch behind the building, behind the wall, and you can't get it. Uh, you won't even be able to see it. And it'll become impossible to get afterwards, I believe at least. You may still be able to get it if you come back here and do this. So the easiest way to get it is just point at it, click it, you'll see the flash, let go, and you'll walk towards it. It's a really annoying glitch. Alright, on to this little bit right here. This is a part of a miscellaneous quest. I'm going to do all miscellaneous quests off screen, because they're not really important. Donkishin. Pick every lock and disarm every trap. That's why playing as a rogue is so helpful. <clears throat> okay, Zen. I will come back here off screen and just loot the fuck out of this place. There's a lot of shit you can get here. Aveline! Hello, Hawk. That's it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. 
I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. A person in your position. Seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. All right, Evelyn. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. And we'll be doing that next time. Onwards. This just this, this just unlocks Aveline for us. Do you have anything uh, good on you right now? Good, she has the upgrade. Onwards. I always check just to make sure that I got the uh, upgrade to the armors. Whenever I get a character whose um, armor is not you know there normally. Okay. Um. Do do do. do. Over tonight. Duty. Uh, let's go do it. I'm going to have to update my uh, little quest list here because I don't have duty written down. Kind of annoying. But eh, we'll fix it. I wrote my little checklist here off when I uh, first did the Let's Play. It was what I was using throughout it. Really ble bloody helpful having this thing. Um, I may put it in the description of the of some videos. But we'll see. Woo! I'm trying to remember my abilities. Alright. I forgot. Oh god, I love this. So, I love Dragon Age Origins. It's a lot of fun. Really cool shit. But my god, the battle system is so fucking boring. It just slash, slash, slash. Or if you're a rogue, I poke at you. This? Oh my god. Look at this. Brutal. So freaking acrobatic. I love it. Sure. Okay, what Avalyn mentioned was a uh, another little miscellaneous quest I'm going to do mostly off screen, but I will record some of it. Um, at night, if you go to any of the major districts of Kirkwall, uh, Lowtown, Hightown, Darktown, you'll come across uh, bandits like this. Fight them enough, they'll drop the location of their base. You go there, you kill the leader, you get a special item. The killing of the enemies I'll do off screen. But the uh, hunting down the bosses, I will do on screen for you guys. Just come here every night, every so often, and uh, fight the enemies. You'll get them eventually. Boop. Come on. Boop. Yee. Thank you for that. Just use passage. There's an item down here we want to grab quickly. This okay. <clears throat> like it's pretty easy to find too. Off we go. Watch your step. Ooh, that was close. Uh, no, Emily. Okay, good. I got before she uh, stepped on it. Boop, teleport. And flank damage. Don't forget, there is flanking in this game. That should do it. Alright, good shit, good shit. Hmm. 
This guy usually has some pretty good stuff, too. Hmm. One of those things you have to come here and check every so often. I don't like the looks of this. Ow. Got a little too close. Alright, there goes the trap. Some bones. And death root. While you read it. Now, it's really cool actually reading those codex entries like that, because you get a lot of interesting inf uh, information. Nothing back that way. Although, um, I did happen to get another, an, uh, some other items, I believe, uh, from our shop called the Shady Merchant. Uh, if you go up through that sewage pipe, you'll be dropped off right where the Shady Merchant usually is during the day. Again, another character has some nice shit. <laughs> and one of my favorite quotes happens around there. Come on. There we are. Never a shortage of idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark, but good reward in getting rid of them. Yep. It's a good way to get some quick money, as well as some nice items. <clears throat> Alright, set turn of the day. I'm going to start the Tranquility quest for uh, Anders here, but we're not going to finish it until the end of the game, or the end of this um, set. Actually, should I? Hmm. I think I will. I'm a little turned around, sorry. <laughs> hey, Tom Wise. Tom Wise? Huh? Oh, Hawk. Haven't seen you since we did that job together for Athenro. Been a while. Heard you're going on some expedition into the Deep Roads. And right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? We can't all make a living in the Undercity. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? Athenro's scarce these days. And the Coterie have their own mixers. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? Being a god seems like a better life. Okay. Than a so he gave us the debilitating poison, which is a good poison to have. Uh, these poisons here, though, I got in the Shady Merchant Shop, as well as the Black Emporium. Uh, Crow Venom was from the Black Emporium. Need Deep Mushroom for that, two Death Root for that. I think I actually may be able to get that soon. I think there's a Death Root down here. Aha! Poisons and bombs are a rogue's bread and butter, so make sure you collect them. God, I love how I love how she's pretty much danced around everyone. Damn, sis! Calm your tits. There we go. Or death root. That's helpful. Okay. Up. Oh. Don't want to do it now. I'm already here. Might as well. We'll trigger it and do it later. Or finish it later. Do do do. And open. I said open. 